Hello, hello. It's the first day of January and the first day of the big, big, big project. There's about three videos before, a video of this whole thing uh, from one end to the other and all the colors that go with it. Um, yes, it's only 60 colors, but it's a 300 centimeter by 100 centimeter painting, which is a roughly about nine and a half by three and a half feet. And takes up four Elizabeth Ward trains. So we definitely have our colors. And I still have some in bags too that are way abundance of certain colors. And just to show you, that is the picture. We are starting right here on the top half. And this is my color guide. There's a total of 480,000 diamonds on this painting. And we are going to start right here in the corner. And what I'm going to do is each week show you how much I've gotten done in that week span. Um, this has four uh, different breakdowns going down as far as the clear covering it's got four sections so I'm going to work section one as far as I can work it and still want to stay on the desk because I hate having my diamonds off the desk and possibly popping off so I will work it as far as I can this way and then once I get all four sections done I will flip it and start have the roll go down under the desk and start working it where the non diamond side is going that way um, I do, at the end of my desk, have a pool noodle, which keeps the painting from creasing and knocking the diamonds off on the back side. Um, I am going to pull my desk out a little bit so that when it starts rolling on the other side, one, it rolls the opposite way because you want your diamonds sticking out, and two, so there's somewhere for it to set on the carpet, and I can work it as I need to work it and keep it from knocking anything off. Um, I am debating if I'm going to seal it in sections or seal it all at once. I think I'm going to do uh, all at once, but we'll see how the diamonds go because this is from AliExpress. This isn't from one of the big diamond companies. So we're going to see how well their glue works and all that fun stuff. There are many companies on AliExpress that make this size, but you need to watch because they try to give you double-sided adhesive, which everybody knows, even on a small painting, is a pain in the you-know-what, but on these bigger paintings is even worse. So, we're going to go ahead and start, and my first color in the corner is the exclamation mark, which is going to be in tray three number 57 and like I said I've got multiple things but I do have it broke down on my paper to know what numbers are in what tray so that way I can at least get to the right tray number 57 a beautiful bright yellow now, this didn't come with ABs, but I did order AB colors for certain areas. This is going in my daughter's home above her couch because she's huge into the, Jap the Japanese culture. So, I want to make sure that we take care of it properly and do everything we can to seal it and make it look good. How are you guys doing? How is everything going? I wanted to bring you guys on for the first little bit of diamond painting I do on here. And kind of get your guys' opinions on what you think about big diamond paintings. Would you take this challenge? Would you... Another creator challenged me to this. 
it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. It's just another big painting that section by section you bring alive. The only thing I haven't done, I've done a small mystery painting, but I haven't done like the Diamond Art Club big ones that they've got. I ordered one, got it in, and once I looked at it, I really didn't like it. So I ended up selling it to somebody who was wanting it. But that's just how it is. I mean, not every painting is going to be for everybody. Same with this. This might not be everybody's cup of tea. But the fact of the size and all that. I thought it would be interesting to show everybody. That it can be done. Um, yes, I do paint every day. Because I cannot work. So my channel and my kids are my daily job. I enjoy sharing the, the love of the craft. How much it's done for me as far as my PTSD and my anxiety and all that fun 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 stuff um, I also like promoting as much as I can of um, art that's been paid for I do have a few things especially in my ear review that I couldn't find the artist so I don't know where they got the picture from. But I try my hardest to buy from artist paid companies unless it's something like I'm really, really looking for and I cannot find in the artist paid companies and or it's somebody that took a picture that turned into a a diamond painting so you're not gonna get an artist paid on that one but yes so far the diamonds when I was bagging the diamonds up and stuff they actually looked pretty clean pretty well cut which everybody knows on squares that it's kind of hard to find good companies that cut them just right they seem to be very very clean and very cut precisely as you can tell those are clean cuts even in the darker colors they had I don't I think only one bag I had to like sift out and they all came in the little 200 count bags so, and I, I only remember cleaning out one, what I do is I take a, um, a small strainer and I clean them out that way. Now, Diamond Art Club has got to the point where they're cutting their own. I'm still waiting for them to get the hang of it because I'm getting either a lot of extremely static bags to the point that I'm having to open them, put them, drop them into a dryer sheet, wrap them up in the dryer sheet, let them sit for a few minutes before I can even transfer them into my containers, and then also putting dryer sheets in the containers so that they um, lose the, the static in them. So if you ever get them with a bunch of static, all you need is dryer sheets, just a cheap, Dollar fifty brand from Walmart. Cut them up into little squares to fit in your containers. If they're really ecstatic, when you pour them out of the bag, take your tray, put a dryer sheet in the tray, dump them in the dryer sheet, and then what I did is I took another dryer sheet across the top and I just rubbed it to get the static out of them. Plus, they make your diamonds smell good, so you can transfer that smell good through the house. Um, 
other than that, our new year is starting off well. We had pretty crappy weather for a few days, but now we're in the 60s, which everybody's like, oh, I don't know why I'm sick, um, because it got to negative 2, and then back up to 60 in a week span. I know why we're sick. Because everybody went from holy crap to, oh, this is nice weather. I can be out in a t-shirt. And then, bam. I wonder why I'm homesick. Y'all, this is the time of year to keep your vitamin C and D up. It's the best way to fight some of these sicknesses. And careful of that new flu strain that's going around. Because it's, it's horrendous. It's like the stomach flu, the regular flu, and the C word, which we're not allowed to say on YouTube, all mixed into one. It, uh, the only thing you don't lose is your taste. It's the only difference between the C word and this new flu strand. But I wanted to get on here really quick while I'm laying the first diamonds. Let you guys see the canvas up close and personal. It is very, very sticky, as you can tell, because I keep sticking my hand in it. Because I dropped these diamonds a little bit short, so I'm going to snug them back up where they belong. And on poured glue, you can do this, but on that double-sided tape, you cannot. You can slide your diamonds by setting the next row of diamonds up. And don't worry about gaps, because as the more you put in, the more it's going to close up the gaps. You kind of want the gaps on the outside a little bit to give the inside room to get tapped in. That way you have room to, to adjust if need be. And all that fun stuff, but... Today is the start, today is the fun of it, by next weekend, by probably Saturday, um, Saturday is usually a good day for me to get things done because every other Friday and every other Sunday I am in the car driving to go pick my son up or drop my son off for visitation. So. Saturday seems to be the day that I don't really have much to do. So I will see you guys then. And we'll see how much of this section I get done in that week. I hope y'all have a happy new year. I hope y'all keep up with your new year's resolutions. And always on my channel, hug one another. Love one another. And be kind to one another. Because you never know whose day you can change with the fact that you say hello.